want to. That's, that is Thank you, something that you can really, really creative with it. Not too creative, but creative enough that you can make money and uh, have your customer look very happy. Okay, like everybody come in when they have their eyebrow really bushy and looking unorganized or it's going everywhere, uh, then what you do is that's when you asking them, would you like to have your eyebrow done? And uh, of course, everybody likes to have their pretty eyebrow. So how are you going to do that? You have to know how to do it. I know that, you know, Everybody in here, uh, most, know how to do threading. Yeah. So, um, I never have threading done, mm -hmm. and I'm afraid of it. I know a lot of people say that it's not hurt, but it's easy. I don't know it's easy. Um, there's a lot of people like to have uh, thread, threading uh, their eyebrow, but a lot they don't want. So, if we have to do wax on their eyebrow, then... We have to know how to do it and how to do it safe because it's right around their eyes area and it's right where people looking at when I see you the first thing I see is your eye with your eyebrow and if you have very pretty shape of eyebrow it makes you look really pretty your eyes just you know bright and ready for the day so okay how are we gonna do it um, remember when we doing eyebrow waxing or eyebrow arch, we have to do what? We have to use, um, remember the bottle of, uh, sanitizer? Mm -hmm. What is that? Antiseptic. Yeah. Lottie, where it is? You saw that? <laughs> She's fingering. <laughs> Antiseptic. Oh. Or if you don't have it, then you can use your astringent. But most of the time, when do you use astringent? You use it after to close up your pores and clean everything. Go get a chair and bring it over. Stop going. Okay, so first we have is one. And deceptive. What do you think I'm missing? What do you think I am missing? Sanitation. What do you think I'm missing? Sanitizer, hand sanitizer. that your hand is clean. Okay? Everybody likes this. So even, you know, I, I'm sure that every time I touch in something, I collect some germ, and when I put it on somebody's eye, then uh, I don't know what happened. One out of ten gonna have bacteria, then what? Then what happened? Then what happened? But she's just looking for it. Okay, one out of ten customers have bacteria, virus on their open skin after you remove the uh, hair. Then what happens? You're going to have a uh, yeah, problem. A lot of people close down their business just because of that one thing. One problem. Okay, shut down everything. 
So why? Okay. Now we're done with this. What what L do we do? Do you a piece of cotton? Clean eyebrow with the eyebrow area with, with antiseptic. Clean, and then what else? Most of the time I do this. Dry. But dry. when when you put this on right away, it's going to dry it right away. It's not going to give you any wetness or uh, oily, you know, um, greasy to the touch. Nothing like that. Okay. This is what we use. In every waxing, this is what we use. Powder or baby powder, any kind of powder. Please, get some powder. What I do is, I put it down to my clean hand. A piece of cotton or your finger, clean finger. You apply it on where you want to have your uh, eyebrow wax or eyebrow art. Can anybody tell me what are we, why we are using the uh, baby powder? Okay. No. 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 Absorb all the grease or whatever oil, yeah. in your skin that you have, and then it, it cover your skin. So when the wax get on it, this powder, okay, there's a layer of powder, hot wax, get on it, it won't penetrate through their skin so okay, much yeah. that it burns the customer. Okay. And this. When you rub it on, it's moving all those hair, so that's the way that hair can, can you know, yeah, that wax can really hold the hair when you um, remove it. So it's really, really Good. important that you use this, okay? Because you can try it on your arm that you don't have baby powder. You can feel how warm the, uh, the wax is. And then it, it penetrates, sometimes it gets real red. If you have sensitive skin, you can pull a little piece of skin off. Mm. And just imagine you have, you pull a little piece of skin right here, where the eye, under the eyebrow is, off. What's going to happen? Mm -hmm. Burn. Yeah. It's not good. It's not professional, then you shouldn't do it. Uh, if you don't have any powder, I think you shouldn't do it. Unless it's a, a cold wax, then it's okay. Even on a cold wax, I still using this. So that's why it lifts up the hair. So that's why when you pull the wax away from the skin, then it'll coming out better. Okay? So this is important. Remember, we only learning on eyebrow today. So I'm only telling you on eyebrow. So don't go back there and put this your eye, on your eyebrow and get it done and on the, on the face you don't put this on. No, we not go here yet. We not going on the face yet. Only the eyebrow. But when we do it on the face or anywhere else, we still need use this. It. We still use the powder, baby powder, please. Okay? Um, when I'm here, if we have a customer, then I will... Look at it and see how you do it. If you didn't do it correctly or you didn't remember, then I will remind you. Mm -hmm. But uh, when I'm not here that you have to do it, then if you don't remember, you need to have my phone number and call Miss Kathy. <laughs> I'm getting ready to remove this arm wax and what do I need to do? <laughs> okay, don't already done it and then call me. Miss Kathy, I'm sorry, you know, <laughs> I read her arm and I don't want to hear that.
please. I don't want to hear that. So you can bother me before, but don't bother me after. After you get it done, go home. <laughs> go home. Don't call me. You're right. Okay. So baby powder. Okay. So now the next thing we're going to do is out there. There's a lot of different wax, cold wax, hot wax, um, different type of wax. And you can tell by, I have this type right here. This yellow, this is blue. Uh, maybe we're not going to talk about it very much, what kind of wax. We're just telling you how to do the waxing. But anyway, this, this is for sensitive, this is for normal. Uh, they, they do have this insensitive in that color. Awesome, yeah. Okay. So... When you do it like this, you see how the wax is going down? Mm -hmm. That's hot. It's even in a bottle and see how much wax I have in there and I can really, it can really run down back and forth like that. This means it's really hot. Do a couple times. So that's why it can cool down a little bit. Remember before what I say? Try on Check the hand. the temperature. So it means you will try it on your wrist right here to see if it's too warm or it's enough for you to uh, work on the eyebrow. So this is pretty good. Okay. Um, okay. So I need to choose what I'm going to use. I either use this roller right here or I can use the uh, pot that we have oh, can you show me that unplug it and, and see if you can uh, it mm. no, it's not warm it's not warm mm. uh, go ahead and, and take the, uh, the top piece put it down and then give me the pot this one? give me the bottom there give me the bottom yeah be careful. Okay. I believe this is most of the time we have it out there. Okay. This pot right here. And um, you can see the wax. Yeah. <laughs> It look like I'm gonna grill somebody. <laughs> yes. So when you pick up the wax, go to the side, clean the side, and bring it up. Let it run up and down. If it doesn't run anymore, then you okay. If it's still running, no. Why? Especially when it's still running, you can drip this on customers' face. Her eyes, her face, her clothes, you ruin her eye, you ruin her skin, you ruin her outfit. Professional, no. And it's good, no. You will get in trouble. So make sure, if it's this hot, then you make sure, let it drip. Let it run back and forth and see if it's still dripping before you take it out. You see how clean and how... I'm not dripping. I see somebody doing wax back there. Wax is all over. <laughs> what happened? What'd you do? The floor doesn't need it. We need it up here. And we don't need it all over down there. So just do that. One thing about this spatula right here. Okay, you need to have several. If you do it in the eyebrow, okay, you dip it in, you do one, the other side, you dip, do the top, remove. Get a new spatula, go in, do that again. I don't want you to use the same over spatula to re-dip in there. That's what everybody doing out there. I don't care how much germ you put it in here, you're going to kill it. Mm -hmm. But you don't want to put somebody's mess from here on somebody else's skin. Okay, I don't want to do that, so just don't do that. 
Okay. I'm gonna put this down here. Later on, we will need somebody at a model, so that's why we can we can do a demonstration on. Okay. Okay. After we put the wax on, most of the time we have a. Um, let me get that. On wood stick, I believe everybody seen on wood stick before, right? Okay, you put your wax on. <clears throat> you put your wax on wherever you need it, but then there is some hair that you need it to come down, so you take that little tip right there. You go in that hair, you bring it down into the wax. You bring it down. You bring that hair down into the wax. And then you press, you put the paper on, press, and pull. Okay, how are we going to do that? Okay, this is very upgraded, you know, you see it out there all the time. Uh, most of the time in school or out in the salon, they're using fabric. So this is something's really good. You can cut it out. Uh, if it's on uh, your leg, on customer's leg, you use the whole piece like this. Arm, you can use the whole piece. On the eyebrow, you can cut it out. If I have a better scissor. <laughs> okay. I can cut it out, so that's way when I put it on. Morton. Okay. Let's say, when I put it on, Right here, I hold one hand right here. This thumb right here, I'll put it underneath of that piece of um, paper. What? Fabric. Rubber. This two, three finger right here, I rub back and forth. See? Mm. She didn't know what I'm doing. Mm. Okay. When you move like this, you press it down, it's almost like you block the uh, blood circulation and they can feel the way you rub and your, your thumb is already down here. That means you can be ready anytime. This finger right here, you put it up here to hold the fabric, but then when you pull, remember, when you pull, you put this hand or you, this finger right here down where the thumb is, where the thumb that you're ready to pull up. You pull and you put this, you press your finger on the eyebrow a little bit. They feel nothing. They feel like you didn't do anything to the eyebrow because it's so quick, so fast. From here, pressure from here, blood circulation block, up, down, again. Okay, you have to do it real fast. So that's way... They won't feel anything. Okay, can you reapply the hot wax? No. No. Yep. After that. No. 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 Okay, so you need to put the wax on where you want, and then put the wax on where you didn't put it before. Okay, then you can remove. But anywhere that you already put the hot wax on, you cannot put wax on again. That's when you really damage the skin. Okay? That's when you burn it. So whatever's left, you need to clean it. Whatever left, then you can squeeze it. Okay. All right. So after you... Remove the hair on one side. You do the same thing on the other side. Most of the time what I do is I do bottom of the eyebrow and then top of the eyebrow. And I go to the other side. I do the same thing. I do top underneath, under top. Okay. 
Okay. And then, where else? We have this part right here. We need to clean the hair out of this part. So you need to know where, exactly where, so that's where you can put your wax there. Remember, do you need to put powder right here? This skin is, is, is not uh, sensitive. Can you put powder here? Yes. 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 You have to put powder everywhere you want it to put hot wax on, please. That to protect you and the customer. Okay? Don't put a whole bunch on. <laughs> put on enough. Little bit. Yes. Yeah. Just a, just a layer of uh, baby powder. That helps to um, prevent the redness, prevent burning, and prevent that, you know, when you have uh, hair that is kind of greasy, it sticks to the skin, it doesn't want to lift up. And pull out. Okay. So after we done with all this, what do we do? What can you remove? Smoothie. What can you remove wax with? Oil. Yes. You can remove. You can clean. Take the oil, put it in, and and kind of slowly smooth, clean all the wax away from the skin okay okay another important thing right after this we done right what else do we put it on remember our customer have open skin after you remove the hair astringent or toner to close up their pore to you know up. Are we done? Yeah. <laughs> Aloe vera? No, after that, it will be a little bit of massage or like for to soothe the skin. That's okay, what they do have a product. Most of the time, if you do the way that I already have thought today, mm -hmm. it's mean you didn't really have to soothing that skin. That skin is not redness, it's, it's not burning, it's not irritate. Okay, when you burn a customer, I don't care what cream you put it on, you mm -hmm. cannot soothing that skin. Mm -hmm. So just do it right. And whatever we done is already complete. But if you wanted to have a product, they have a soothing product, aloe vera or soothing, smoothing, uh, any kind of cream that put it on, so that's where you can work with it a little bit, then it's okay. But the end of it, just, you know, after astringent, then we are done. We'll be okay. Yes. At long, at long, we don't burn, we don't irritate the skin, we don't, you know, because when you see it's really red, it means you almost burn that customer. And I don't like that. Mm -hmm. No. Okay? Yeah. Um, what we can use uh, for the extra oil we want to remove from the skin? Oil. We apply the oil. Huh? So it, I think okay, you have a... a you, you have... Okay. Um, you use... Oil, they have special oil for uh, for wax, but if you don't have it, you can use baby oil. It's okay. Put it on a piece of uh, cotton, cotton or something, mm -hmm. and keep working with it. Don't go back and forth like that. Work this direction. Okay, okay. Remember, before I say, when you put. Um, wax on, you put it on like this, apply, press, and pull with direction. Opposite direction. Opposite opposite. Opposite. Always opposite. Uh -huh. opposite. But then you put product on with direction. Same direction. Same direction. Hmm. Okay. Very good. I'm very proud of you. It means you already look and learn before I even have this class. <laughs> I'm very proud. Very good. 
Okay. Let's talk about, I have people asking me, okay, this right here. This tip right here, we roll it. This is make a very pretty arch mm -hmm. when you hang with it. And it's so organized, so clean and so professional. But how I'm going to clean this? Because this is going to be go on every eyebrow. Hmm? What do you think? No, I have a trash can. <laughs> this is my spatula. And... Um, in one in one box like this, have three of them. Have three, or even uh, uh, the small one is have three, and it's not that expensive. You wanna go in um, have somebody wax your eyebrow for five dollar, and they renew this, or you wanna pay eight dollar or nine dollar, and then they change this. Okay, when it's expensive, it's just because, you know, they don't want to put any germ back into your skin. Yeah. Okay, so just think about it. We do change this. We do. Every customer or every uh, other customer? Okay, People, let, they me don't do it. let me ask you this. If you do a leg wax, right, do you want somebody to clean this and put it on your... Leg again. Do you think this be clean? I don't see. You can put this in microwave so that's why it can run the wax off and then you can clean. How are you going to do that? You're going to put in a, um, a pot that you cook up to what degree? Very high degree. And then what else? You cannot use it anymore. It's melted. No. This is, this, this is so cheap. You change it. You cannot put it on somebody else. That's why they charging you. Because of what? Because of what they have to using on you. Because I don't like anybody to, you know, put this on me. Or I can do a cheap way with the pot and have my spatula and throw it away.